welcome back to returning viewers and hey for the first time to new viewers thanks for stopping by to check me out um I want to talk about the giveaway and the winners of it I pick the winners um the two winners are Amber from Amber and John Homestead and Random and Sybil from Sybil's Practical Living and Prepping. I don't get there. Sybil's Practical Living and Prepping. And what you get is what you want is either this pouch. Which is the big one, or this one, which is the smaller one. And how I'll determine who wins it, or who gets which one, is the first one of y'all to comment on the video gets the big one. And then the next one gets this one. And then you get. One of these, one, two, three, there's five notebooks or journals, and you get to pick which one you want. So the first one, this one, and when you comment down below, just comment which one of these journals you want, and that way I know which one it is. This one. This one. This one. Or this one. One's gray with, um, Gold polka dots, and this is pink with gold polka dots, and these are the uh, spiral ones. And then you get a set of pins, a set of two pins, or a pack of two pins. I love these pins, they're the best pins. And then you get Two of these little things. Oh. Paper clip with chevron ribbon. So cute. And you get washi. One, two, three, four, five. It's one, two, three, four, five skinny washi. And a set of magnets. I mean, magnetic bookmarks. What? What? That was not right. And you get all of these things. All the stickers. You get the really pretty ones. Little colorful ones. You get the glittery ones. You get the fun ones. And then these I just thought were cute. There you go. You get all of those. And I think that's it. No. One more thing. You get hold on one second. 
you get two things. You don't get the whole thing, you just get a few out of here. And that's it. Hope you like your gift. And there will be probably some chocolate and a few other things. A few other little things in there that I hope you like. Some little surprises. Just from me to you. So, Amber and Sib will comment down below. Tell me which notebook you want, or which journal, or whatever you want. And, yeah. So, that's that. That's the giveaway. And, I'm glad everybody. <laughs> commented and stuff. It wasn't as big of a turnout as I would have liked, but pretty good. And so now on to the craft a thon that I'm doing. I have a craft a thon going to the end of the year on um Ravelry. The group on there is Faith Love Craft and the the um giveaway giveaway not giveaway the shoot and I didn't even think about it the craft a thon thank you and the I didn't think about it but I didn't bring over the prize but it's yarn and there is challenges that you can do, you do the challenges, and then you go and you, um, why are my words escaping me today? You have to sign up in the sign up thread, and then you post, there's a chatter thread that you can just talk and comment on other people's projects and stuff, and then you there's a finished object thread, and there's no talking in there. That's just where you post what you've made, and you put each project is worth a point. And then I'm not really, I don't remember. I'm very prepared, aren't I? You um get so many points if your project is a gift. Or if your project is a, it's for charity, you get extra points. I don't remember how many, it's like, I don't know, it might be an extra point for each one, or it could be five points, I don't remember. But, there's going to be two prizes. It ends December 31st is when it ends, and the new starts. January 1st and the prizes there's two things of yarn as one prize and that's for who gets the most points I think that was how I was doing it I'm not really sure I talked about it in a previous episode I don't really remember I'm super organized the video and then the other is who did the most projects and yeah and there's two things of yarn for each um prize and you'll probably get one or two other little prizes along with that and then next Next year when it starts, it's going to be super simple. You don't have to sign up. You don't have to do points. None of that stuff. You just have to um, post your projects. Well, there'll be a, um, a thread on there that tells about it and everything. And you just look in there and there's where all the challenges will be. But I'll post all the challenges on the top for um 
each of the other Thoriads. They um they'll be a chatter Thoriad and a finished object Thoriad. And that's all. You don't have to try to sign up or anything else. All you have to do is look and see what um challenges you want and all wanna do. And it's one challenge per project per person. Like if you want to build a birdhouse. The chat the challenge is I don't know, do something for decor or do something in your favorite color and you make a blue bird house then something in your favorite color you did that challenge no nope I've just decided right now I'm changing it one you can do as many projects for each challenge I think yes each challenge yes mm. you can do there's gonna be I'm trying to think. I should have thought about this before. But I think I'm going to keep it. I'm not changing it. I'm keeping it. You're going to do one challenge per person per project. Yeah. Or one project, one challenge per project. Yeah. You can only... That doesn't make sense. I'll have it all in the description. And I'm sorry for this little whatever. Little brain fart I had. Um. So. It'll all be explained in the description down below. But. Basically. You look at a challenge. You think. Okay. I want to make. Something in my favorite color. That's a challenge. Make it in a favorite color. Um, crochet a blue hat. Um, your favorite color is blue. Uh, make a pink necklace. Your favorite color is pink. That's how it works. And then you've done that challenge. So, I like it for that. You can do any crafts. It doesn't have to be just yarn related or fiber related or whatever. You can do any craft that you want. So, I hope everyone has fun with it. Now, and for January and February, I'm going to be cool doing, there's going to be someone collabing with me on this for the craftathon. It's, um, Amanda of Manda Bug Crafts. She's on YouTube, Manda Bug Crafts. And then on Ravelry as Manda Bug. And I think she's on Instagram as Manda Bug too. Manda Bug as well. <laughs> Not Amanda Bug too. Um, Manda Bug. So, yeah. And I think we're gonna have special prize at the end of Don't You Mind. So it's not just a full prize. So and there might be um additional challenges. So yeah. So be on the lookout for that and be paying attention and everything. And Yep. So that's all about the giveaway. About the craft upon.
Why do I keep saying giveaway? Goodness. And something else that I've been thinking about is trying to change my channel a little bit to where the name of the channel is Ambi Crash Reads and then the podcast or the episode videos have um have its own name and I have no idea what I want to do for that because it's like okay I like what I have on Ravelry Faith Love Crafts but and I thought about using that but I talk about books as well it's not just crafts so I thought about crafting reading faith or books and crafts or whatever I don't really I don't know any suggestions or anything put them in the comments any ideas yeah keep it with the I like crafts or maybe crochet or something about books or reading and then kind of wanted to have faith in there not like the word faith but like being a Christian, being having faith, God, Jesus, you know, stuff, you know, around my Christian faith and all. So, any suggestions would be very welcome. And I think that's it. So, bye, God bless, and happy Thanksgiving.